Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Mia and this channel is Mia's Life with KFS. KFS is Clipple Fatal Syndrome. Um, yeah, so if you're new here, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Um, I would love it if you would click like and give me some subscribers and if you want to get notification when I put up new videos, there's this little bell next to this subscribe uh, button, please push it. So I was thinking that today I would do a little whipping chat. Whip is work in progress and um, chat is mm, talking. <laughs> so it's been a while since you saw me here last. Um, it's been, I haven't really been busy, busy, but you know, this weekend we were at a music festival and it was it was fun and the company was fantastic and we had a good time. The weather was wow. I mean it was just amazing. Um we were talking about how the the bands there they should have, you know, shifted it around. All the best bands were at the beginning of the day and then all the it's not bad bands, you know, it's just music for, for the mostly young people. So to us, it would have been better that the first band were the last on that day. But, you know, there were a lot of young people there and I'm guess I'm guessing they had a blast and it was fantastic. And yeah, um, <laughs> we had bought these new camping chairs to bring and they were really really good to sit it to sit in um compared to to the ones that we used to bring the chairs was was a little higher so you know usually you when you sit in these festival chairs as you call them you way down and then it can be a little hard to get up again but these were really so much better um and we had people, you know, say, oh, where did you get those? And how much are they? And I would say, you know, you can buy them at a Jusk Singetize Lair. It's a store in Denmark. I think you could, in Germany as well. I don't know if they have them in, in England, maybe. Um, but people were like, yeah, we want those. And where can you buy them? And what's the price? And I was like, you know, they're a little bit, pricier than, than the festival chairs, so you would have to be aware of that. Um, but most people are like, oh, we don't mind, these look so much better and so much comfier. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we were there until around, <sighs> I think we left at, at 9 p.m. because the, the people that we were there with uh, had to leave because one of them got got ill and he wasn't feeling good so they had to leave and then David and I looked at each other and said, you know, do you want to stay and, you know, be here alone? And, you know, no, the, the rest of the music wasn't really, you know, yay, we have to see them. Um... So we left, took took our stuff and found the car and drove home. But even though we weren't there for the past for the last three hours or so, you know, I was busted the next day. I was so tired. I mean I think I slept the entire day almost. Which is it's normal for me when I've had, you know, days out. Um, it's not, I, I wasn't in pain. It wasn't, you know, a, a bad, bad day. You know, I could get out of bed and do everything. But I was just tired. I was bummed, you know. Um, I had done something that I usually don't do for these festivals. But in hope of, you know, feeling better because usually um what what gets to me is, is the noise around me, you know. It's it's I'm not 
sensitive, sensitive in, in what most people understand, but, but with a lot of nice around me, I just get filled up very, very fast. And I get tired, you know, all the noise and music and, and everything, you know, I'm just like, done. So a few years back, my husband bought these earplugs, uh, Alpine earplugs, they're called Music Safe Pro. Um, so I brought these along and they have three different steps that you could put in and they just lower the, the music, lower the noise by certain decibels. Um, so I brought these along for every time that the music was on so I could just, you know, get a little peace in my head. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was really, really good there. Um, on Sunday we were just relaxing, you know, doing nothing at all, spending time with the kittens. Um, <clears throat> and I think they enjoyed it because we were gone all Saturday. So then on Sunday I was in a in a sofa chair and all the cats were there, you know, they all came, you know, through the day and then cuddled up with me and slept and, you know, we were just chilling. Um, David was out and about doing his stuff, you know, playing the computer and he was in the garden and, yeah. So that was a good, quiet day. Um, we we got our delivery from Hello Fresh on Sunday. We always get that, or always. It's the third time that we get Hello Fresh, and usually we make the first dinner on Sunday. But I was just so tired, I I couldn't do it. I mean, like so, we decided to to order pizza. Oh, I get a, a dinner. Uh, I don't like cheese, so pizza is not a good idea. Um, so that was that was okay, you know. I don't. I we try not to do takeout so much anymore because it's not healthy, and we could use to lose a little bit. Which is also why we, we shifted to HelloFresh, because we've been in a bad habit of, you know, making the same food again and again and again and again. And we were like, how can we change this? And I've heard of HelloFresh before, but I haven't heard much good about it. You know, I've heard how people always get rotten food or... Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to spend a lot of money and then get food that you can't eat, you know? Um, and then a month or so ago, I was talking to, to one of our neighbors and he was getting a Hello Fresh delivery. And I was talking to him about it and he was like, so the food is good. And I was like, but is it good? You know, don't you have issues with, with bad vegetables and stuff like that? And he was like, no. We haven't had that, and we've tried it since January. And I was like, hmm, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe we should consider it. And I know that usually you get a discount code. Um, so I was asking, do you have a discount code because then we can try it? Um, and he was like, yeah, um, I'm gonna ask my wife, and we can bring it over. He's like, okay, but you could just put it in the mailbox. You know, if you don't, if you're not here, uh, something. But it, five minutes later or something, they were like both coming over and here it is. And we were just talking and um, we were showing them around in our garden because we just moved in last year and we, we haven't changed a lot, lot but we, we've changed the garden some. So... Um, we were showing them around, and their dog used to be in a in the, our garden a lot because it was playing with the dog that used to live here. 
Um, so it was running around, you know, you could see it was looking, where's my friend, where's my friend? And then he saw our cats in, in the windows and was like, huh? That's not a dog. <laughs> and our dogs were like, what are you doing on our garden? <laughs> um, yeah. So we got that discount code and we went in looking at the Hello Fresh page and discussing it a, a little and when we put in that discount code it was like we could get the first week for like eight or nine dollars or something like that. Fifty Danish kroners, um, which was like nothing compared to what the price usually is. So we decided, you know, okay, let's try it. Um, we give it a, a month or so and then see if we like it or not. Um, and we talked, you know, how many meals a week and when should we get it, what would be, you know, easiest for us to do. And we were like, yeah, maybe let it, let's get it on a Sunday. Um, and then we could either make the first meal on Sunday or on Monday, uh, depending on, on the week coming. Um, and then we got the the first meal, the first box a few days later. And we were like, it's a big box, you know, we've got five meals for two persons. So it was like these big boxes and I had no idea, you know, how they were doing the meals and, and the separation. So it was like, oh, that's cool though. You're getting these little paper bags and then you get this, uh, you get the paper bags for each day with the symbol on and then you get this kind of like paper wool bag with, with everything, you know, meat and, and dairy in it. Um, so you have to put that away. I like that they do everything so that you can, you know, put it away to to recycle it. I really, really do like that. And I love the way that they um, keep the things cold, you know, these little plastic bags that have water in it. And then you can, you know, you can use it again, put it in your own freeze, and then you have it if you have to go somewhere and, and bring cold stuff. Um, I really like that because it's good, you know, and or you can use the water to, to water your plants. Um, we don't really have plants that need water in our house because cats and our cats eat plants if we have them. I mean, I have one plant in this house and it's up there <laughs> in my room, but the cats don't come. Um... But I, I like that concept, you know, or you can pour it out, you know, or, yeah, I like that. So, <laughs> the first meal that, that we made, I was like, yeah, I knew this would happen. We had a, a bell pepper that were moldy on the inside, and I was like, if this is what it's going to be whole, the whole week then this is the only time we're getting this. Um, and, you know, I was ready to, you know, to debate with them how this pe bell pepper was moldy. So I took like a gazillion photos and uh, forwarded them to David because it was in his, um, in his email that we had, uh, um, you know, we used his email to, to contact them. Um, so I forward them to him and said, you know, you, you have to, to contact them. And he, a few hours later, he was like, I didn't even have to show them a photo. I just put in problem with, with the product and we got 25 Danish kroners, uh, credited to our account. And that was like, that was easy. <laughs> I was expecting it to be tough and hard you know I've heard that but that was easy and I haven't had any any issues since I mean this is our third week um, yes our third week 
and the all the meals are just you know some of them are like okay we tried them they weren't bad bad but not you know we're gonna have them again next week but some of the the meals are just delicious and I enjoyed I enjoy the fact that you get everything you need um, and, and then you're just chopping away uh, uh, and that's it usually you know when you're trying to to do something easy you have to buy all this sweet stuff to have in your cupboard and then you need this product and I'm like yeah that's not part of, of my eating style you know so I like that all I have to have is virgin olive oil and then eggs that's all I need and I don't even need eggs every week you know we have eggs because we eat that for breakfast but but I love that everything that I have to bring is olive oil and eggs um, and we had I mean some of these meals have been delicious and um, I've sometimes taken photos and, and you know put them on my Facebook and people are like oh that looks good uh, and then you know some I think I've told you before David is um, is a trucker so we know a lot of truckers and they're like are you an ambassador for them now <laughs> it's like no no I'm just showing you what you what you can get from them and then I'm so impressed at how delicious and how good looking all this food is um, so yeah and he, despite me being so tired from from this weekend, it's it's not a big deal cooking, you know. I was I was you know when we started this, you know, I. How am I gonna find the energy, you know? How will I find the energy, to cook every day? I mean that that has been my issue. It I'm I'm getting tired so easy, so you know having to cook every day and then you know. It being ready for David to go to work, um, because we we eat uh, the hot meal before David goes to work at four four p.m. Uh, in the afternoon, so you know it has to be ready about three thirty at p.m. Then we eat there, and then he leaves at four. But you know, I've I've found a rhythm. You know, I I start. Um, about 2 uh, two p.m. I, I take the recipe down and I start looking at it, you know, what needs to be done now. You know, I start the chopping and the preparing and then everything is ready and easy to do. Um, and, and I can do it, you know, a little by little. I, I don't have to do everything and then stress myself, you know. Uh, I did that the first few days, <laughs> and I, I found out that it doesn't work, you know. Um, so now I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, it takes. It, it might take a little longer, um, when you look at it. But really, it's, it's easier because you know I, I do the chopping and then preparing, and then, I I can relax a little, and then. Just do the the last, you know, the the heating and then preparing the the meat or whatever um, for last. We do also get a lot of of vegetarian um, meals because we actually like veget veget um, vegetarian meals. David grew up as a vegetarian. Um, I didn't. I grew up eating a lot of meat because my dad is a meat eater. He's a meat potato and sauce guy, <laughs> gravy guy. Um, so that's what I grew up with. But um, even as a child, I I loved vegetables. I love eating something different, you know. Um, so when I met David back then and I started coming in his parents' home and I I got to try all these delicious dishes, 
with with lentils and then beans and I just I left it. Um, I don't like tofu. Well, I don't like. It's not a favorite. <laughs> to me, it's a bit like like the consistency of of erasers. You know, that's the consistency in my mouth. Um, so I can eat it if I have to. Um, but but it's not something that I will buy for myself. <laughs> um, but you know, I just. For some reason, I don't feel as full when when I eat vegetarian food. Sometimes when I eat meat, especially uh, cow meat, I get you know really, you know, I got full. I feel bloated. I feel. Uh, I mean, for hours after, I can just feel full. And I never do that with, with vegetarian food. Um, I'm still full, you know, I don't, but I don't feel, you know? I, I don't know if you understand what I mean, but hopefully you do. Um, so I like that with HelloFresh, you can get that. You know, you can, you can get the the lentil dishes and, and the today we got a sweet potato and lentil dish and it was so good the salad wasn't really mm, you know but but everything else was just delicious you know um, sometimes I, I changed it up a little you know um, for, because we love things to to be spicy and, and to taste like something you know sometimes these dishes are a little bland in our taste but you know it's easy to change that up so i just do that um yeah oh, oh yeah today's wednesday and wednesday is rosa day <laughs> rosa is our niece my brother's daughter she is two years old on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, and she's, yeah, I love her dearly. I love all my nieces and nephews, I really do, but Rosa is the first of my nieces and nephews, nephews to live close by. So, you know, I, I get to see her, I have her every Wednesday. I pick her up from, from daycare at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, and then we go here and we eat together and we play and we have fun. And in the autumn and winter, we do gymnastics together. Um, we started that uh, in September last year. I asked if I could go do gymnastics with her and it's just our day together um, and we have a lot of fun we we play and she's just you know relaxing and she loves the the cats uh, Pelle our our ginger baby and her is like so close in age Pelle's birthday is today he's turning two today so um, like from the beginning when she started coming here it was like, Pelle is your, is your friend, you know, you're the same age and you can grow up together and, and now it's like, Pelle is mine, Pelle is my friend, Pelle is my cat and it's okay, you know, because I basically taught her that Pelle is hers and is her best friend. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, is Pelle your cat? Yes. Then how about Flux? No, auntie's cat. Um, auntie in Danish is faster. Um, so sometimes we go, no, Duster's cat, because he can't see, say faster, right? So it's like Duster instead of faster. So she just looks at me, no, Duster's. <laughs> and she's so adorable. She's growing up 
so fast. I mean, like, she and, and she's bright. Um, she knows all the colors. And sometimes, you know, I, I test her. And I go, like, I pick up something blue. And I say, is this red? And she looks at me. No, blue. Oh, okay. You know, and I do it again and again. And she corrects me every time. And in the beginning, I was like, is that normal? I mean, can it... Barely two year old do this. She she's been doing that for for months and months now. I think since around Christmas, she she's have been telling colors and and everything. Um, and then recently, I bought a lot of of play food, and she loved that. And the the minute she comes in the house, it's like, where's Pella? And then come. Let's make food. And she goes in and I take it down for her. And she's like, everything gets, gets picked up. And it's like potato, carrot, strawberry, a banana. And and she's telling me the colors at the same time. I was like, yes, that's right. That's green grapes. And this is purple grapes. And yes, that's a, a yellow lemon and red strawberries. And, and she's like... And she's making this food and I have to eat it and I have to tell her how it tastes. And she loves coming with these little plastic lemon. And, you know, and I'm like, no, 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 auntie doesn't want to eat that. Just say, yes, eat. And I have to look, ooh, that's so sour. And she's laughing like a little devil cheese, you know. <laughs> and she's having so much fun. Um, Yeah. <laughs> She does that every time. And then she's walking around, you know, trying to to find Pelle or one of the other cats. And she goes to bring them food as well and, and you know, try to, to feed them. Um, it's so funny. I have to ask my brother and and his girlfriend if I can put one of the little videos up that, that I took from her doing this um, because it's so adorable and she is just she talks a lot and she's telling us everything and um, for Christmas we bought her this little pink Vespa uh, and it's out here because we had to bring it home to, to, to build it um, and it at first, she was scared of it because David accidentally, by accident, turned it on and she wasn't ready. She didn't know that it would say something. So she was terrified for for the longest time. And then, you know, I brought it out and I tried, you know, just pushing her around without turning it on. And she was like, faster, faster. And I was told, you know, I was trying, you know, this can can be turned on and then you can drive it alone. Okay, you know, and if I do this, you know, it will be a little loud because it has noises. Don't be scared. And she was like, loud? Yes, it's a little loud, you know, and I turned it on and she was like, is it okay? It's okay. Nothing's happening. This is, this is it. Okay, and then, you know, we, we tried to to honk it and this music which is really loud but that she's not afraid of that's music so I tried you know to teach her how to to push the, the speeder on it so she can drive around the biggest issue right now is she loves driving it but the steering part that doesn't work so well for her so I have to know I have to to be behind her and help her steer it so right now She's inside the house with it because if she goes out, I'm afraid she'll, she'll bump into cars and, and everything and she will fall over and hit herself. So right now she's still in the house with it. When she's a little older and know how to, to control it, um, she can get it home with her because they also live on a small road, so... It's not dangerous to be outside with it, but she needs to, to know how to control it before we do that. Um, yeah. So that's my Wednesdays. 
This weekend will also be a little busy. Well, mostly for David because he has um, the company he works for. He's an oil trucker, you know, drives gasoline and diesel and stuff like that. So they have this company thing on Friday. Uh, and then on Saturday, we're going to his uncle's birthday. He just moved an hour away. Uh, his wife, my, my husband's aunt, sadly died last year. Um, she had Alzheimer's. Um, so he moved uh, an hour south this this year and he invited us down to, to his birthday and to see his new crib. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, so that's on Saturday. And then on Sunday, he's talking about going to an air show um, here in Jutland, about two hours away or something, an hour and a half away. Um, so he's having a busy, busy weekend. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going on Saturday but on Friday after I dropped him off at work um, there is a reception in our bank for our bank lady uh, she's retiring they have a retiring party for her in the bank uh, so I'm going there to say bye and thanks for the help you've given us for the past 13 14 years um, so I'm doing that on Friday, but that's only for an hour or so. So yeah. I have a few videos that I plan to do. Something that means a lot to me. Um, some subjects that I would like to talk about. That has, you know, something that has, a, has had a big impact on me growing up. Um, and some stuff that's... You know, a big issue now, or not a big issue, but something, you know, that's an issue uh, living with Klippel File Syndrome or just chronic illness in general. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I kind of think that was it from me today. So, like I said in the beginning, please give my video a like. And please comment if you have questions. Write it in the comment section and I will try to answer them. Um, and even if you just want to say hello or anything, please do. I, I really want to get to know people. And, and I'm, please like the video. I need uh, It helps my, my channel grow if you give it a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Thank you. And then, you know, if you want to be notified uh, when I put up new videos, you can ring the bell. And, um, yeah, you will know when I put up something new. And you never know, it happens out of the blue. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.